Howdy there, folks. Hi, Jevin here. I'm the biggest used car so Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. That was the wrong profession. I apologize. We're on the Hermitcraft server. My voice is shot. What up, though? What's up, everybody? Let's go ahead and get started with today's video. All right, everybody. What's up? Hope you guys are doing good. Man, have I got a story to tell you guys. We're going to take a look around the base because I took a little bit of time before this episode to sort of finish everything up. So, story time. I hope you guys like bodily functions because I've got a great story for you. <laughs> You're probably like, uh, Jevin? Like, you cool, man? No, no, it's, it's all good. So, young Jevin, sitting in his computer chair, decided he wanted some fourth meal. Now, if you don't know what fourth meal is, it's Taco Bell. Because you eat it typically when you're completely drunk or, you know, normal people don't eat it. You know, it's bleh, nasty, you know. So, young Jevin decides he wants some fourth meal. So, I got a Taco Bell. And I'm, oh, we have a tree grew. Wow, I finished the root too, by the way. And I'm like, yeah, I think it's time to get tacos. So, my go-to order, two soft tacos, no lettuce. Chili cheese burrito and a drink. You cannot go wrong with that order. It is the perfect Taco Bell order. But something happened to me tonight that has never happened before. I was eating my food, minding my own business, and a piece of taco meat went from my mouth into my nose. And I don't mean through the outside part. I mean through, like, my nasal cavity. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck just happened? Because I'm pretty sure I just, like, MacGyvered some sort of, like, taco meat into my nose. And it was a very interesting conversation. Besides, Jevin's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm pretty sure I just snorted Taco Bell. And she just started, looks at me like, what? So, apparently, I am now a Taco Bell meth head. <laughs> I'm just joking. But seriously, like, it was weird. Then the even weirder part was when I grabbed my napkin to blow my nose... There was Taco Bell in it. Yep, that's that happened. So, interesting story for Jevin. <laughs> uh, anyways, guys, what's up? I hope you guys are all doing good. Uh, I'm glad to see the tree farms working. So today, I was looking at our list of things to do. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's time for an animal farm. Um, that was one of the things on our list that we wanted to do. Well, I wanted to do. Manimal farm, you got. Oh, I broke it. It's done. I don't have to do it anymore. Yay, let's go home. Um, no, we um, we need to get some animals in this place. It's going to be fun getting them down here, though. I'll be honest with you. You know what I think I'm going to do? Maybe we grab some slime balls and put them down here. Not slime balls, but the slimy, jumpy things. I don't even know what they're called, to be honest with you anymore. They're just the blocks. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> but, um... I want to bring four animals into the place. I think I want to do uh, sheep. Um, that's apparently not how you craft them. I want to do sheep, uh, cows, pigs, and bunnies. And this will be for food, not for like a sheep farm. Wow, I am just... I am like top-notch crafter 101 over here. It's not like I've been playing Minecraft for like nine years or anything. I still know how to craft. I am a professional. Promise you. Alright, so that'll save our animals so we can harvest their bones of the flesh and nom on it. Like, nom, 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 nom. So one thing I want to check here. We've got plenty of that. We need to grab some leads. Do I have any leads? That's a... You ever think about it? That's kind of a funny word. Leads. I don't know. I guess you guys are probably thinking like, yep, Jevin, go back to doing your crack Taco Bell. So, I need to go check, take a look around spawn here. Now, I know for a fact, we have two of the animals that I need that I can easily take. I'm not above stealing. I will steal your stuff. It'll happen. <laughs> no. If I see a sheep and it's like, if it's just like lassoed, bro, that's my sheep. I don't care. Fight me. Fight me IRL. But no. So, I know for a fact that we have two. We have these guys, which I will be nomming on your flesh soon, guys. Don't worry. Is there a pathway over here? Aha! And then there's piggies. You'll be my pork chops later. Oh, God, I'm stuck. Um, ooh, potatoes. What is this, like a trivia game show? 
By the way, spawn is mega laggy. Like, so laggy that I never want to fucking come here, like, ever. Like, I'm just walking and I'm just like, oh, look, four frames per second. This is awesome. Yay. So, I was told, I was told that XB has some bunny rabbits. So, we are on a mission to steal his bunny rabbits. And I don't care if he sees the video. Does he not have a portal? Nope, nope. Let's see, can we find XB's place? <laughs> Hello. Look at this guy. Overachiever, Jesus. I'll stick with my my house. This is actually pretty look, nice looking. I'm not sure that I like the orange. I don't know. I think it doesn't blend well with the blue, but that's just my personal opinion. I could be an idiot. You know how that goes. What's that over there? How long is this thing? Can I get a timer or something, please? We're on a mission, guys. We are going to hijack some bunnies for ransom. Maybe that. Or I'm just going to take them and never act like nothing ever happened. I'm not decided yet. Here we go. We're almost there. All right. Nice little platform you got here, buddy. I'm liking this. Pfft. Look at this guy. He's he's a class act, man. Me? I would just let it run into the wall. I'm lazy. Ah, I ain't got time for all that shit. Okay. Okay. Bunny wabbits. Hmm. Maybe I should just get a talk cocktail instead. Well then. What is that? This guy's out here doing work, man. Maybe I should play on the server more. <laughs> wow. I like this. This is cool looking. Well, I'm probably not even going like the right way. Ooh. That's awesome. Bunny rabbits, where are you? All right. Oh, oh, hello. Hello. But the, I'll be honest with you. These bunny rabbits, they kind of freak me out a little bit, especially the ones with the red eyes. I don't see any ones with red eyes right now. Toast. Okay. But. They freak me out. They're a little creepy. He kind of looks like obs an obsidian bunny rabbit. Anyways, I'm here to take two of these guys back to my base. And once I get them back, I will be back. So apparently I'm cheating. I forgot that I made a video. Don't you guys, do you guys remember the lead duplication glitch I made? I kind of just duplicated my leads. I should probably mention that to X. But the bunny thievery is on its way back. We're doing our thing. I stole some bunnies. We're going to get away scot-free. So I was unaware that bunnies could take the vine. Look at him go. All right. Bunnies successfully stolen. Back at our base. Laggy. Let's go ahead and just clip these guys up right here. Also, I've decided that I'm going to channel the inner generic bee in myself and maybe make a shop on the server. Be team esque um, and just sell leads <laughs> because it's an it's a it's the perfect business. Craft one, sell a million. Anyways, I have to get the rest of these animals real fast, and I'll be back. All right, I've gathered our animals. They are uh, they're here. Definitely not stolen in any way, shape, or form. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Anyways, we need to pick a spot for this animal farm, and I am thinking right here. Because we're in the land far enough, and outside was uh, was the, the way that goes back to spawn is that way. So this will be inside the mountain, or it should be inside the mountain. I'm hoping it's inside the mountain. But knowing my luck, uh, it won't be, and we'll be screwed, and the typical German... Boo. So, um, like I said, this is primarily for food. I'll have a sheep farm somewhere else for all the beautiful, beautiful wool that we'll never use. Uh, so I want to dig this in just a little bit. And I was kind of thinking 
about how I wanted to do this farm. So the farm is just going to sit right here. There isn't going to be any sort of uh, buffer in between. And because we've got another path layer too, we can use before we before we need to. We can use this if we want to make more pathways or whatever, you know. So what I'm thinking is that we're going to bring this in. Uh, probably go a little bit further. Probably a couple blocks. Mm, I think I want to have storage right here. Can we do storage right here? How does it look? Yeah, we could we can totally put storage in somewhere right in here. Uh, I want to have two on each side and or three on each side and have it labeled for each like animal for all their drops and then it'll go in further like so and then each one is going to sort of be in the ground so it'll be like cows pigs sheep bunny chickens and that'll be what we have here so i need to do some digging apparently and i'll be back okay i have dug and dug and dug Holy crap, digging too much. I don't like it. My pickaxe doesn't like it either, but the room is finished. Sort of. So now we get to do our thing, girl. <laughs> we get to do a little bit of interior decoration. Uh, just want to kind of fill things out and see how they're going to go. I'm not sure how I want to do everything just yet. The floor pretty much does itself. The floor is pretty much finished. Still trying to think if I want to keep that design focus. Um, see, here's what I'm thinking about doing. Thinking about pulling this away. Just be like this. But there's that's, that's outside. We're really close to the outside. I'm getting sick of it. I've had about enough of the outside. So maybe if we just throw a pillar here. Booyah. I booed your yah. By the way, guys, it is Valentine's Day. That's right. Today is me and Miss I. Jevons' wedding anniversary. So I will not be on the computer. I will not be streaming. be chilling out with my lady. Probably watching some movies. Eating some nommy noms. Who knows? Maybe a little bit of that adult fun. Who knows? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, so I'm thinking this. And uh, our, our walls are relatively easy because, I mean, I, if I'm looking at Zeese, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mimic that in the walls down there. So there'll be grass on the floor. There'll be rails and stuff. They can't get up. Blah, blah, blah. You know the deal. You already know. So we'll put this here. And... Where do I want these to set? I think right here? No, that's terrible. You know go all the way up there. Right there. Put it right there. So I think I'm going to put lights there. You son of a bitch. Something to that effect. And then there will be obviously wood around it and there will be lights inside. And so we'll do we'll do the whole, you know, interior design thing that we've been doing, kind of carrying the theme through the base. Just something like that, probably. Yeah, I'm thinking like that. And then we'll do the same thing we did in the ceiling as well. Because I'm pretty sure that's about the same size. Yeah, it's definitely the same size. So, uh, I have a lot of work I need to get done with that, so, but now that we have a general theme, we can do that. I still have to dig this one out, uh, but I got tired of digging, because I'm lazy. I'll be honest with you. I was just like, bro, if I have to dig you out, I would rather jump off a bridge. So, <laughs> but uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and get working on it now. All right, guys, so I pretty much ran out of material, mainly just wood. I've got to go grow some more trees soon. But it is coming along. It does take a little while to actually get all this interior design stuff finished. Because it, you know, it is a, it's a little bit of a process. So I'm okay doing it. I don't mind. But this takes a little bit of time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move one of the animals in now. And work towards the goals and get stuff finished. And yeah, once we have more wood, we'll be able to finish more. 
Uh, this definitely needs more light, so I think I'll probably put some lights in the hallway somewhere. There we go. I brought myself some grass, and I'm not putting sheep in this one because sheep will eat it like jerk is. Jerk faces. I'm still debating on whether or not I want to put chicken in as well. Chickens are stupid. They make a lot of noise, and they lay eggs, and they're dumb. Uh, leads. What did I do with my leads? I have a lot of carrots. I should probably replant that farm as well. I can move this now, too. Ha! <laughs> Sounds like fapping. <laughs> Giggity. Giggity! Leads! Where did you leave me? Get it? Leads. It's a funny word. Ah! 13. So I went from 2 leads to 13 leads without crafting any. It's pretty legit. I gotta be honest. I'm kind of like Houdini in a way. Alright. Let's see here. I'll be taking you, and I'll be taking you. Come on, sirs. Get out of the way, you stupid sheep. If you come out of there, I won't kill you, I promise. Because I can't kill you, because you're the only sheep that I have. But if I could kill you, I would. Don't tempt me. Okay, let's go. Let's roll. Autobots move out. I never even put grass down. Poop, son of a bitch. Come on. Get in there. Hey, you guys are safe now. Don't you leave. How dare you? Okay. So you get one piece. There we go. And I'll eventually breed these guys some more. That was fast. Holy shit. Okay. But yeah, this is coming along. This is going to take a little bit of time. Probably finish it up next episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button as always. And uh, if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you guys all have a good one. This is I, Jevin. Peace out.